One of the weirdest takes, I think, coming out of the Elon Musk interview of Donald Trump is this from Greg Gutfeld, who tweeted, this interview is good. But the bigger story is that two of the most important world figures agree on the world. What's that tell you? I don't know that billionaires flock together. I don't think it says much about the struggles of working people, but the most consequential technical genius perhaps ever and the most consequential political figure are talking about stuff on equal footing. And Trump knows everything Musk is talking about concerning energy, artificial intelligence and economic development. No politician could energetically engage on future problems like this. Most would need a staff of 10 doing packets of research for each topic. And still the politician will have no idea what to think. So. Look, that at first blush seems like an embarrassingly obsequious misrepresentation of what we all heard. The idea that Donald Trump understands energy in anything beyond the most abstract fashion or could tell you how large language models work or generative AI works. Like, come on, he obviously couldn't. He doesn't understand how Bitcoin works. He doesn't understand any of this. A storm is tearing up the digital media industry. Only our audience can save us in these difficult times. Help us reach our goal of 100,000 new members at tyt.com slash team. But I do think that he's being a little bit vague there. He's saying that they're on equal footing, but he's not necessarily saying what footing they're on because I don't think Elon Musk understands this stuff all that well. I've seen him talking about code and coding before and that being broken down by actual coders who point out that Elon Musk clearly doesn't understand anything about it. He only understands enough to talk in a way that sounds intelligent to people who don't code. And so I don't know, maybe I'm being too hard on Greg Gutfeld. Maybe this is him actually roasting both of those men and that would qualify as the first funny joke that Greg Gutfeld actually ever told online. So I don't know, Danielle, what do you think? He is definitely not joking, sadly. He honestly believes that these two men are brilliant and that everything that they say means something. Donald Trump can't string together a cohesive sentence. Elon Musk most of the time doesn't know what he's talking about either. Again, we continue to equate wealth with some type of genius and self worth and neither of those things are true. Elon Musk is a wealthy person, but what he is not is a politician and what he is not is like a futurist, right? That honestly understands how things work. He just hires people and then when they when he's able to squeeze out enough intelligence from them, he fires them, right? Mm-hmm. Like that's that's what they do. They just like they get things and break them up for parts. Yeah. Um, and in that way, they are on equal footing, right? Because that's how they see the world as what they can extract from it, but not anything that they provide. Yeah, yeah, you're 100% right. And look, it's easy to mock Donald Trump in this respect, um, and I will continue to do that. But but I do want to focus on Elon Musk just for a minute because, like, people people genuinely think that he invented Tesla, that he came up with the cars or something. Like what is wrong with you? It existed before he purchased it. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's not Tony Stark. You know, turning bolts and stuff like that. And when he has actually seemingly worked to direct these companies on specific projects and actually taken an interest, what do you have? You have the Cybertruck. In that case, the biggest failure. All of his stuff about Mars, utter failures. Remember the Hyperloop. Remember the Boring Company. Remember the 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 Tesla AI, the the Tesla taxi service, the Tesla robot, all of the stuff that he hypes up to get his cult excited. None of those are the reasons that any of these companies do well. And when he takes a direct hand, as he clearly has with Twitter, he takes a thing that already worked mostly, it had issues, and makes it worse in every way possible. I do not understand how a single person continues to think that he's a genius. Even a Greg Gutfeld. Thanks for watching our video. Did you know that you can support our show by becoming a subscriber? Just click the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you get notifications when we're live or when we post new content.